Hello everyone! Welcome to Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 6. And ang module na pag-uusapan natin is all about multi-step word problem solving involving decimals. Alright, so what is a multi-step word problem in math? A multi-step word problem is like a puzzle with lots of pieces. Multi-step word problems are math problems that have more than one operation. The four basic math operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Multi-step word problems can have any combination of these operations. Ibig sabihin lang nito, isosolve siya ng hindi lang gamit ang iisang operation. So, it's not just addition, it's not just subtraction, it could be addition, and multiplication or subtraction or and multiplication or both addition and subtraction lang. So, a combination of two or more. Pwede. Okay? So, let's have problem number one. How will you solve this problem? Randy went to a bookstore and bought three notebooks at 27 pesos and 50 centavos each and the dictionary at 285 pesos and 25 centavos. If his money was a 500 peso bill, how much was his change? Right? So, first step in uh, problem solving is you need to understand. So, ano ba yung dapat gawin under this step? First, you need to know what is asked and you can go back to the question. If his money was a 500 peso bill, how much was his change? So, hinahanap ang sukle. Okay? So, change. That is why, since you are talking about money, you would say amount. Kasi kapag perang pag-uusapan, amount ang yan mo dyan. So, the amount of Randy's change from his 500 peso bill. And then, after that, you need to check what are given. Okay, so, given our 500 peso bill, ito yung pera ni Randy, 3 notebooks at 27 pesos and 50 centavos each, and a dictionary at 285 pesos and 25 centavos. So, yung binili niya ay tatlong notebook na tig to 27 pesos and 50 centavos each, at isang dictionary at 285 pesos and 25 centavos. Tapos, itong lahat na binili niya, ima-minus doon sa 500 peso bill. Okay? Kaya lang, Meron bang hidden questions? Yes, meron. Kasi sinabi lang naman dito na bibili siya ng notebook, tatlong notebook, tapos isang dictionary. Tapos dumiretsyo na sa tanong, ano daw yung sukli? E di ba dapat aalamin mo magkano yung tatlong notebook lahat? Di ba? Kasi uh, ipagsama mo yung price ng tatlo eh. Tapos, idagdag mo siya sa price ng dictionary. So, how much was the cost of three notebooks? Walang, walang tanong dyan. It's a hidden question. And, yung total amount of money spent. Okay? So, magkano lahat ang nagastos niya? Okay? And then, what's the plan? So, first, you need to devise a plan to solve the problem. So, you could choose the best strategy or you may have two strategies or more. Okay? And, we're going to use direct reasoning or equation. So, pwede kang gumamit ng direct reasoning or equation. And, in this case, okay, for, for direct reasoning, first, you need to answer the hidden questions. Use multiplication to get the cost of three notebooks. So, yun yung plano mo, ha? And then, dapat... Alamin mo rin ang cost ng notebooks and a dictionary, yung total cost nun. And then, after that, subtract the total amount of money spent from the amount of money Randy had. So, ang plano natin, ito yung susundin. Okay? So, this is actually just direct reasoning. Parang, um, pagka ikaw lang ay... Uh, bumibili sa tindahan, di ba? Kung, uh, let's say, bibili ka ng, let's say, dalawang biskwit or biskit, isang, um, isang coke. So, dapat, add mo muna magkano yung dalawang biskwit, tapos, idagdag mo dun sa coke, bago siya, i, uh, ibawas doon sa pera mo. Ba? So, parang ganito lang yon. Kaya, dapat, intindihin, and then, after na, naintindihan mo na, planuhin, paano mo gawin. Okay?
and then solve. So solve the problem and show your complete solution. So first, using the direct reasoning. Huh? So step one, find the cost of three notebooks. You would have there three times 27 pesos and 50 centavos. That is for a total of 82 pesos and 50 centavos. Next, get the total cost of three notebooks and dictionary. So that would be 82 pesos and 50 centavos plus 285 pesos and 25 centavos for a total of 367 pesos and 75 centavos. So this is the total amount he needs to pay. So ito yung babayaran niya. Ito yung nagastos niya. And then lastly, subtract the total amount spent by Randy from his 500 peso bill. Alright? So that would be 500 minus 367 pesos and 75 centavos. And that is equal to 132 pesos and 25 centavos. So finally, you could say that Randy's change from 500 peso bill was... 132 pesos and 25 centavos. Okay, using an equation, apply the PEMDAS rule. So, paano natin gawin? Okay, so, start tayo. 500 yung pera niya. Diba? Dapat, ibabawas natin yung tatlong notebook at 27 pesos and 50 centavos. And since, uh, dapat magkasama itong dalawa, ilagay mo siya in a parenthesis. So, lahat na magkakasama, tandaan ha, dapat ilagay sa parenthesis. Tapos, ito ay idagdag natin sa presyo ng dictionary. And, tandaan, yung tatlong notebook at saka yung presyo ng dictionary ay dapat magkasama ulit kasi yun yung total amount spent. Diba? Yun yung cost ng lahat ng binili niya. So, dapat ilagay natin in another grouping symbol. Okay? And then, Yung lahat na yon yun na yung minus natin from 500. So, ganito dapat gawin or ganito dapat ang paraan paggawa ng equation. Kasi, marami siyang steps. Kaya nga siya multi-steps. right So, solving. Una natin, uh, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng pinaka-innermost na uh, parenthesis. And that is 3 times 27.50. Diba? Kasi, ito yung uh, babayaran mo sa tatlong notebooks. So, that is for a total of 82 pesos and 50 centavos. So, yun yung presyo ng tatlong notebook. And, since PEMDAS ito, at nasolve mo na yung uh, tatlong tungkol sa tatlong notebook, kahit kopyahin mo na lang iba. So, kopya mo muna yung 500. Ayan. Kopya mo yung minus. Okay? And then, Add mo yung 285 pesos and 25 centavos. And then, gawin mo ulit ang grouping. Group mo ulit ito. ba? Kasi dapat magkasama yung nagagastos niya. So, again, add natin tong dalawa. So, 82 pesos and 50 centavos for the price of the three notebooks. Um, add natin sa price ng dictionary. So, that is for a total of 367 pesos and 75 centavos. And that amount will be deducted from 500 pesos. And finally, our answer would be 132 pesos and 25 centavos. So, complete answer is... 132 pesos and 25 centavos was Randy's change from his 500 peso bill. And this time, ang ginamit natin ngayon is equation using PEMDAS rule. Okay? Right, now, problem 2. Marielle saved 180 pesos and 75 centavos in June and 155 pesos and 50 centavos in July. Then, she bought three pieces of headband for 25 pesos each. How much of her savings from June and July was left? So, again, understand. First, you need to know what is asked. So, balikan natin yung question. How much of her savings from June and July was left? Again, it's asking for the change. It's asking for the sukle. How much was left? Diba? So, that would be the amount. Ayan, the amount left 
from her savings in June and July. And then, what are given? So, tignan lahat ng numbers. Okay? So, you could say, ma'am, 180.75. Uh, 180 pwede yun, ma'am. Tapos, 155.50. Yes, pwede yun. Okay? So, tignan mo lahat ng numbers. And then, to be more specific, Ayan, you could say 180 pesos and 75 centavos and 155 pesos and 50 centavos. Ito yung savings of Marielle on June and July. So, kahit ito nga lang pwede na, diba? And then, 3 pieces of headband for 25 pesos each. What are the hidden questions? Meron ba? Yes, meron. Magkano ang babayaran mo sa tatlong headband? Isa yun, diba? And then, um, magkano lahat ang savings niya for June and July? ba? So, nandyan yung hidden questions, hindi mo na ikita, kaya lang kailangan mong kuhanin ang sagot nito para masagot mo ang tanong. Okay? Alright? Next. Plan. Choose the best strategy or strategies. A. You could use a diagram or model, and you could use an equation. So, solve natin. So, perform the chosen strategy. Strategy or strategies first, gamit tayo ng diagram or model. So, in doing it, okay, pwede mong i-represent ang isang savings niya using this block. So, 180 pesos and 75 centavos, this block would represent the savings for June, and this one would be the savings for July, and that is 155 pesos and 50 centavos. Dapat kuhanin mo yung total nito. Diba? Kasi this is Marielle savings for the month of June and July. Ito kasi yung savings niya. Yan, kaya ipagsama mo. Diba? And then, if this is the total savings for the month of June and July, okay, you could represent that here, Kaya lang, itong total na savings na to, dapat babawasan mo ng tatlong headband. So, isang headband ay 25 pesos, and then another 25, and another 25. So, dito pa lang, makikita mo na na yung tatlong headband is actually 75 pesos, ba? So, ang kukuhanin na lang natin ngayon is the amount here na natera. So, that is the amount left to Marielle after buying 3 pieces of headband. Now, let's use an equation. So, pwede mong gamitin ito para mabuo yung equation mo. First, add mo yung savings niya okay, for June and July. Ayan na siya. And then, in close in parenthesis kasi nga sabi ko, yung magkakasama, ilagay dapat in a parenthesis. Now, since magkakasama ito, ayan, ilagay mo yung parenthesis. Minus 25 times 3 and since ito ay magkakasama dahil ito lahat ang binili niya, iligay mo na naman siya in parenthesis and then saka ka mag subtract. So, itong binili niya, if subtract mo dun sa total savings niya and then equate, yung, equate mo to N and you now have the number sentence or the equation. Okay? So, unahin natin to. Okay? So, this is the savings, and ito naman ngayon, so that is for a total of 336 pesos and 25 centavos. Ito naman ngayon, okay, ang yung ginastos niya, ba? So, that is for a total of 75. So, i-minus natin ito dito, and then equate to n pa rin. And then, ang sagot dito would be 261 pesos and 25 centavos, and that is equal to n. Ito na ngayon ang sagot natin, ba? And lastly, the last uh, step is check or complete answer. So, check mo, you could go back. Pwede mong uh, i-minus ulit yung 75. Tignan mo kung babalik ka ba dito. Babalik ka ba dito. And then, pwede ka mag-minus ng isa. Tignan mo kung babalik ka ba dito. And then, kung sigurado ka na sa sagot mo, give your complete answer. And that would be 261 pesos and 25 centavos savings left for to Mariel. Okay? Problem 3. Rico saves 6 pesos and 50 centavos on Mondays. 
Tandaan ha, Mondays. Ibig sabihin, kada Monday. Kasi, kasi nga, sinabi, Mondays. And then, 7 pesos and 25 centavos on Tuesdays. 5 pesos and 75 centavos on Wednesdays. 8 pesos and 90 centavos on Thursdays. And 9 pesos and 25 centavos on Fridays from his daily allowance for 4 weeks. Ibig sabihin, bawat Monday, bawat Tuesday, bawat Wednesday, bawat Thursday, Bawat Friday, ito yung amount na sinisave niya for 4, apat na linggo. Okay. From these savings, he wants to buy a t-shirt which cost 175 pesos and 75 centavos. How much more must he save? So, first step, understand. Again, if you need to understand the problem, dapat alam mo the question ask. So, what is ask? How much more must he save? So, how much more? It talks about money. So, that would be the amount of money Rico must save more. Kasi kailangan pa niyang dagdagan ang pera niya dahil hindi umabot yung pera niya sa presyo ng t-shirt. ba? And then, given facts. E, di kuhanin mo na lahat. Okay? Lahat ng numbers. So, to be specific, pwede mong isulat dyan ang 6 pesos and 50 centavos on Mondays, and then Tuesdays ito, ayan, and then for 4 weeks, and then the t-shirt for 175 pesos and 75 centavos. Again, kung sasabihin mo, ma'am, sinulat ko lang ang numbers, that could be right, okay? Pero, um, in this case, dito sa example, it's just being specific, okay? Next is, you need to plan. Choose the best strategy or strategies. So, using direct reasoning or using an equation, okay, we can solve the problem. So, solving it first using direct reasoning. So, una, ayan, edi kuhanin mo yung total savings niya from week, from, from Monday to Friday sa iisang linggo. Okay, so, add mo to lahat. And that is for a total of 37 pesos and 65 centavos. Okay? Tapos, multiply mo by 4. Kasi, yung savings na yon ay bawat linggo lang. And then, yung savings niya ay ginawa niya sa apat na linggo. Kaya, multiply mo by 4 and you got 150 pesos sa 60 centavos. Lahat ng savings niya for 4 weeks. ba? And then, saka tayo, Mag-minus para malaman natin yung amount he needs to save more. Okay, so the cost of t-shirt less or minus the total savings in 4 weeks. So that would be 175 pesos and 75 centavos minus 150 pesos and 60 centavos na savings niya. And then um, he needs... 25 pesos and 15 centavos more. So, dito pa lang, alam mo na yung sagot, diba? Alright. Using equation. Ayan. So, ito yung equation. Okay. So, yung magkakasama, ayan siya sinulat. Okay. Dapat, diba sabi ko, kung magkakasama, ilagay sa parenteses. Now, ito yung savings niya sa Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. So, ito yon sa isang linggo. Kaya, nilagay siya in a parenthesis. And then, times mo by 4 dahil it's uh, it's done in 4 weeks. Okay? Nag-save siya in 4 weeks. Kaya, times 4 natin. And then, all in all, ito yung minus natin sa so 175 pesos and 75 centavos. So, siguro you would say, ma'am, bakit hindi naka-bracket ayan? Okay? Eh, di ba po magkasama yan times 4 bago natin i-minus doon. Now, since we are going to use uh, PEMDAS or we are using PEMDAS, okay, kahit hindi naman lagyan ng bracket yan, okay lang. Kasi, after ng parenthesis in PEMDAS, uh, exponent, di ba? Wala namang exponent. Eh, di kasunod ng multiplication. So, kahit pa hindi natin lagyan ng bracket, okay lang siya. Kasi, ito naman talaga yung susunod natin. Pero, okay, Para hindi kayo malito, maganda rin nilagyan mo ng bracket yan. Okay? Pero sinundan ko lang kasi yung sa uh, ano natin, ha, module. So, ganito ginawa ng module dahil pwede siya using PEMDAS. Okay? So, unahin natin ito. 
Okay? I-add ito, tapos i-times by 4, di ba? So, ayan na siya. Okay? So, yung total nito is ito yon And then, times 4 mo pa rin. And then, ayan pa rin. Kinopya lang, kinop lang yung iba. And then, after that, ito mo na. Di ba? Multiplication mo na. Ayan. So, this is now 150 pesos and 60 centavos lahat ng savings niya, di ba? And then, i-minus natin sa 175 pesos and 75 centavos. At, ayan na, ang sagot is 25 pesos and 15 centavos. So, the same answer, complete answer natin is he must have or he must save 25 pesos and 15 centavos more to buy the t-shirt. So, para mabili niya yung t-shirt, kailangan pa niyang dagdagan ang savings niya and he still needs 25 pesos and 15 centavos. Okay, so remember, lahat ng pinag-usapan natin ha, is all about multi-step problems. And to solve multi-step problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction of decimals, mixed decimals, and whole numbers including money, we are guided by the following solving strategies by George Polya. And first one is understand. So, under understanding the problem, you need to know what is asked, and then you need to know the relevant or given facts. And if there's any, know the hidden facts to determine the hidden questions. And then, after that, you need to plan. So, you need to choose the best strategy or strategies. Write the best strategy or strategies which is or are suited to the problem. It could be using an equation. Using direct reasoning, yun yung ginawa natin, direct reasoning. So, step by step, pwede mong pa isa-isa lang na isolve. You could make a list. So, depende sa problem yun ha. May problems na pwedeng masolve using a list. Using a formula, pareho dyan sa mga problems in geometry, like uh, finding the area, okay? And then making a table, looking at patterns, pwedeng drawing a model, working backwards, drawing a diagram, using estimations, yes, and then pwede rin using dimensional analysis. So, lahat ng ito ay magagamit mo depende sa problem na binigay. And then, solve. Perform the chosen strategy or strategies. Show the step-by-step step process or complete solution. If you're going to use diagram, edi eh mag-draw ka, di ba? If you're going to use block methods, drawing ka rin. If you're going to um, use equation, edi eh pakita mo yung equation and the step-by-step step process, okay? And then lastly, check and look back. Balikan mo yung question, uh, yung sagot mo tama na kaya to. You may you may do backwards, you may do the operation again or the calculation again and then uh, interpret the answer. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng sagot mo? And then state the or state the complete answer. Give the answer with correct labels and check your answer and look back if possible. Ayun pala. Okay? So sana naintindihan ha. Okay, so let's have Okay, these activities. First, fill me in. Sarah saved 136 pesos and 25 centavos in September and 168 pesos and 50 centavos in October. Then she bought five pairs of socks for 50 pesos and 95 centavos each. How much of her savings from September and October were left? So, nag-save siya sa dalawang buwan, September and October. And then, bumili siya ng limang pares ng medyas. At bawat pares ng medyas ay 50 pesos and 95 centavos. So, let's have the first step. Understand what is asked. What are the given facts? And then, plan. Choose the best strategy or strategies and then solve or perform the chosen strategy or strategies and show your complete solution. So, ano kaya ang sagot natin dito? So, kung babalikan mo ito, how much of her savings were left? So, again, it's talking about the amount left. Diba? So, pwede mong sulat dyan, amount left from Sarah's savings. Kasi, nag-save siya for 2 months, and then, bumili siya ng medyas. Edi, 
magkano na yun natira? So, yun yung uh, ano dito, amount left from Sarah's savings. Yun yung sagot natin. The given facts, you can go back and check the numbers. Okay? So, pwede mo isulat dyan as 136 pesos and 25 centavos lang. And then, 168 pesos and 50 centavos. Ito yung September and then ito yung October, di ba? So, kahit hindi mo nilagyan ng uh, label, okay lang. Basta nandiyan yung numbers. And then, 5 pairs of socks at 50 pesos and 95 centavos each. And then, for this um, problem, pwede kang mag-equation lang. So, ayan yung number sentence natin. Okay? So, 136.25 plus 168.50 enclose natin kasi magkasama sila. Ito yung savings sa September, ito yung savings sa October. So total savings ito dahil magkasama enclose in parentheses, 'di ba? And then ito naman limang medyas, 'di ba? Kaya enclose ulit natin ng parentheses dahil magkasama ito. And then yung total nito i-minus natin sa total doon, equate to n and you now have your number sentence. Okay, and then solve. Perform the chosen strategy or strategies. So show your complete complete solution. So, eto yung gagamit natin, and then solve na natin. Alright, so eto yon, di ba? So with this one, i add mo ito, ayan, i add mo rin ito, tapos sa kakamag minus, di ba? Ayan, so this is three hundred four pesos and seventy five centavos. Eto yung total savings, and then this is two hundred fifty four and seventy five centavos. This is the total amount spent for the five socks or five pairs of socks, and then i minus natin yung dalawa, and then your answer will be fifty pesos. So fifty pesos is equal to n, and Check or complete answer. So state the complete answer. You can check and look back. Tignan mo kung meron bang mali or tama ba lahat. Kung wala na, state your complete answer. So this will be your answer. You could say, 50 pesos was left from Sarah's savings. Alright? So, sana naintindihan and... If ever you have some other questions, you can just check our GCs, okay? And then thank you for watching.